Recently, one often hears such a term as dirty bomb in the media. This type of weapon is a radiological weapon. It is often confused with nuclear weapons, but in fact they have little in common. Unlike nuclear weapons, a dirty bomb does not cause a powerful destructive shockwave, in general, the explosion itself plays a secondary role. But its danger lies in the fact that it is the easiest radiological weapon to make. As a result, it could theoretically end up in the hands of terrorists. It must be said that the discussion of nuclear terrorism at the highest political level began in 2009, after the speech of US President Barack Obama in Prague, but the fight against it began even earlier. But how high is the likelihood of the use of a dirty bomb and what does it even represent? The dirty bomb is a dangerous radiological weapon. Features of the dirty bomb and the difference from nuclear weapons. As you know, among the striking factors of nuclear weapons are not only destructive capacity, but also a large number of unstable isotopes, resulting in radioactive contamination of the area. It is possible to sit out the most dangerous period after a nuclear explosion in a bomb shelter. After a few years, the contaminated area becomes suitable even for long-term habitation. The cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which began to recover a few years after the unfortunate events, are a striking example of this. The task of the dirty bomb is to contaminate the area with radiation for a long time. The dirty bomb works in a completely different way. Its task is to contaminate the area as much as possible. It contains isotopes that have half-lives of tens or even hundreds of years. Therefore, radiological weapons can be made not even in the form of a bomb. For example, radioactive substances can be sprayed over a certain area from an airplane. The danger period after the detonation of a dirty bomb is several tens of years. Accordingly, it will not be possible to survive it in a bomb shelter. The contaminated area, like the Chernobyl zone, will be uninhabitable for a long time. The most dangerous isotopes are strontium-90, cesium-137, and strontium-89, zinc-64, tantalum-181, iodine-131, etc. The isotopes have different effects on the body. For example, strontium accumulates in bones, cesium affects muscle tissue, and iodine-131 affects the thyroid gland. Theoretically, one cobalt bomb could destroy all life on Earth. The most famous dirty bomb. The first idea of a dirty bomb was proposed by scientist Leo Szilard in 1952. Recall that earlier it was he who discovered the nuclear chain reaction. Szilard's idea was to use a hydrogen bomb with a cobalt-59 shell. During the explosion, the cobalt would become the unstable isotope cobalt-60. It is a powerful source of gamma radiation with a half-life of over five years. A cobalt bomb is such a terrifying weapon that it doesn't even need a means of delivery. That is, it doesn't matter in what territory it explodes, as it is capable of destroying all life on the entire Earth. True, this will only happen if the size of such a bomb is sufficient. According to scientists' calculations, it is quite possible to make a bomb of such power, since only 510 tons of cobalt-60 would be needed to infect the entire Earth with a lethal dose of radiation. Fortunately, no country in the world has yet created a cobalt bomb. And Leo Szilard himself suggested this idea, not for the purpose of creating a super weapon, but to show the absurdity and pointlessness of the race for super weapons. The special services regularly stop the trafficking of radioactive materials. Why dirty bombs are not in the service of any army? Yes, dirty bombs are not in the arsenal of any country in the world, at least officially, despite the simplicity of making them. The fact is that from the point of view of achieving military goals it is completely ineffective. Such a weapon does not destroy the enemy and his population instantly. Radiation causes radiation sickness, the intensity of which depends on the radiation dose, but, in any case, it develops gradually. In addition, the territory becomes for many years unsuitable for the capture and occupation. And as a weapon of deterrence it is not suitable at all. However, the threat of using such a bomb is even higher than the threat of nuclear war. The fact is that radiological weapons are quite suitable for unconventional methods of warfare. In particular, they are perfectly suited for terrorist purposes. 
They are capable of striking a huge number of civilians, and thus are an effective element of intimidation. How high is the threat of using a dirty bomb? Radioactive materials are under strict control of the countries that possess them. However, this does not mean that there are no cases of illegal sale and movement of such substances around the world. All known cases are recorded in the Incident and Trafficking Database ITDB, which was created by the International Atomic Energy Agency in 1995 after several serious cases of smuggling were identified. An explosion at a nuclear power plant is one of the scenarios for the use of the atomic bomb. Over 20 years, 2,734 cases of illicit trafficking of radioactive materials have been recorded in the ITDB database. One of the most high-profile over the past decade occurred in 2011, when large quantities of cesium and uranium were attempted to be purchased by Islamists. One can hardly say with confidence that nuclear smuggling has now been completely eradicated. In addition, it should be taken into account that radioactive isotopes are widely used in industry and energy, as well as in science, medicine, and even in everyday life. For example, smoke detectors often contain americium-241. That is, theoretically, a dirty bomb can be made by hand. Another very probable scenario for the use of radiological weapons is an explosion at a nuclear power plant. But it is not easy to organize such a terrorist attack, as we have already told you before. Fortunately, the dirty bomb is still a hypothetical weapon, and there have been no cases of its use yet. We can only hope that, through the efforts of the IAEA and the governments of the countries, it will be possible to eliminate it in the future as well. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.